Well, uh, Senator, where do you stand on this ridiculous proposal? Well, look, I'm not a fan. It won't surprise you uh, to understand. I, I, I'm not really a fan of any uh, policy position which drifts into the world of identity politics like this does, to be quite frank. Um, the, this is a proposal which, whichever way you look at it, and we don't have full details about what is being proposed, but whichever way you look at it, ultimately, um, this seeks to divide Australians. It seeks to uh, give legal status and different rights to Australians based on the colour of their skin rather than on what they bring. You know, the, the, the voice as it's been described, and there have been many different models, but each one of them really provides a circumstance where we would see a parallel um, system of government uh, which would run potentially with different rights, potentially across each other. You know, it, it can only end up in a disaster. So I don't know why we're talking about this. I don't know why state parliaments all across the country, I might say, but particularly in South Australia, are dealing with social issues when they should be talking about economic issues. Um, it, we, we will not win votes from the left with policies like this. It is as simple as that. Absolutely, and you will lose a lot of votes, let me promise you that. Um, they're talking about an Indigenous electoral role. I mean, this, this... I spoke earlier about apartheid. This is apartheid, an Indigenous electoral role, a separate chamber. Uh, how can we even justify this? Well, look, I, I don't think we can. I mean, once again, as we said earlier, this is really a divisive policy. It's not uh, something which includes... I mean, we see this all the time with identity politics. It is corrosive. It is divisive. Um, it is nothing more than simply trying to uh, show Australians that their worth really is in their identity. And that's exactly right. It's exactly what we would see if this gets, gets the, the green light. Um, ultimately... Um, we've got better things to be talking about in this state. We need to... But, but, you know, but, but I, I want to see a Liberal how, how do you, Senator, how do you have an Indigenous electoral role? Who's to define who is or isn't Indigenous? If you say, well, hang on, I'm Indigenous, I want to go on the electoral roll. How can this possibly That's work? That's right. I, I don't think it can work. And, uh, and I think it's, it's very dangerous territory. As you say, I mean, um, having people allocated rights, whatever they may be, uh, or, you know, right, indeed, uh, and not money, giving rights. Rights and money. We've spent billions of dollars, Australian taxpayers, to try and help those deprived communities that need the help. How will a bunch of bureaucrats wandering around uh, Adelaide or Canberra or anywhere else ever help those who actually need the help in remote communities? Well, it's a great point you make. And, in fact, uh, last sitting period, uh, I hosted Jacinta Price in Parliament House to talk to a bunch Excellent. of parliamentarians who were interested to hear that very story. And her complaint was, along with um, her friend and colleague, uh, Sharon Long, who came along to talk about that exact issue, that they were sick and tired of city-based activists telling people in remote communities what is good for them. Uh, and so she covered off on that issue amiably. And, um, look, I think that is exactly the point. Uh, look, I want to see a Liberal government re-elected in this state, and sadly we won't do that if we continue to give them labour light policies. Um, people didn't vote for a Liberal government. They didn't vote for a strong plan for real change uh, to be shuffled up this sort of policy. I hope it's a thought bubble. We don't know any more details. I don't believe it's gone through the party room. It doesn't seem to have had any consultation in the community. But we need to stick to our knitting when it comes to public policy.